I practice that volleyball, it keeps me in shape. It's nice to be able to play with that caliber of a person, young guys who are Olympic caliber, and just to be able to get out there and play with them and, and play quite well with them, you know. That, and then, you know, that's a measurement for my usefulness. If as long as I keep doing that, I don't break my limbs, etc. And I find myself even getting a little bit better, which is really interesting sign, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I certainly appreciate that. So his name is Mark Takzak, and he um, he works at this place, Center for Neuroskills, which is the only place in the country that gets people walking and talking again. Yeah, I'm in medicine, medical business now. I'm just so overwhelmed about the medical business. We know so little about it, and there's so much to it, you know. I'm in the stem cell world, you know, and this whole world of stem cells is coming at us really, really big time. And the discoveries that are being made about any kind of disease, we've got must have a thousand things that can go wrong with us, you know. And each one now has a stem cell solution to it. It's amazing. Which one are you most passionate about? Well, I'm, I'm most passionate really about the most powerful of stem cells, which is embryonic stem cell. That is the stem cell that we're born with. And I now have broken through, it's called SCNT, it was announced all over the news, and I broke through taking my old skin cell, I took it, I took a woman's egg, put her, took her DNA out of it, put my DNA into it, and grew it in vitro, and developed my own, own stem cell lines. Wow. I'm the only guy in the world today who is, has me in a petri dish before I was born. That's amazing. That is amazing. Science fiction is scientific fact. Now, that's huge because now you can take those immortal stem cells, plant it back in your body and renew your body parts. Well, you're living proof of everything you say. Look at you. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, my, I, have, I have actually reversed my aging in the last four years. You know? so that's, that's been, that's this uh, medical science behind it as well. They, do, they use my numbers in uh, medical conventions you know, before and after. You know? You and your children are changing the whole world. My children, yeah, yeah, <laughs> really? yeah, 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 yeah. No, it could, it could, it could be a little contribution to changing, but you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's personal quest. I just want to personally make sure that I do everything possible to keep myself alive, everything possible to keep myself healthy. I want to do preventive medicine, and then I start discovering more and more about it, and I start being a leading edge on this stuff. I have taken more stem cells today than anybody else in the world. Mesocarmine wow. stem cells, you know. Wow. And it works. Yeah. Are you in LA all the time? Or are you traveling all the time? I travel constantly around the world. I have a beautiful airplane and I go around the world twice a year. I got factories all over the world. I got stem cell business all over the world, you know. So I'm in constant motion. You know? And you help every woman to look thin. Every woman to look thin with my slims, especially, yeah. Exactly. That's what that band is all about. That band's all about making your body look slim. And that's what every woman wants, you know. It makes her slim and shapes her behind. How does somebody get behind this stem cell? You really, once you start looking at an internet and start looking at the word stem cell, it just opens up a whole new world to you, you know. The number one university in the world in stem cells in translational medicine is the University of Miami. The people there here now. You get a chance to talk to some of the people here. Some of them are guys who are actually working for me or my associates, you know. I invited about 50 of them here. Great. Yeah. Is there any associate that you could refer me to to talk to about this later? Another, on own, another day. I got my own medical scientist. This is my chief scientific officer. Hello? She's Hello. The, she's Hi. the number one in stem cells in the world. It's so I just brought up a little bit speed what I was doing. She's responsible for my body. Nothing goes into my body without her approval. I like that. She's in charge of it. So you, you can talk to her about it more now. Thank you so much. Her name Hi. is Jyoti. Jyoti? Uh, yeah, I'm Dr. Jyoti Deva Kumar. Okay. Hi. You look stunning. You're Thank beautiful you. Beautiful woman. Thank you. Now, I was telling him that uh, there's a guy that plays volleyball in his house sometimes who uh, saved my life. He's a physical therapist at the Center for Neuroskills in Encino. And, uh, you know, I'm seeing people, I was not, I wasn't walking two months ago. And I'm seeing other people like me that are going from not walking to walking. And it's been amazing, just the technology that nobody knows about. So, 10 years from now, every field of medicine would be affected by stem cells. There's not going to be a single field in medicine which will not, which wouldn't have adopted stem cells. So I think that represents the future. And uh, so far, medicine treats symptoms of the disease, 
Now with stem cells, we'll be able to treat the root cause of the disease and cure disease again, as again just maintain the disease state. What, what has kept this from becoming widely used here? Any new technology goes through a phase of criticism, a lot of rejection, and finally acceptance.